So this is during the day. Uh, using my headset to rec or the headphones in to record. So this is my last video. It's kind of fucked up audio. Not that I was particularly coherent with the central theme. Sort of rambling. But yeah, I'm fucking video uploaded fast as fuck. Like it never uploads that fast. So now I've got more sp like deleted it. Now I got more space to make another one. And uh, they call it greenery. I don't know what's up this in the middle, like the structural, structuralism, artisticness. There's some mirrors here. I like mirrors. Mirrors are my friend. Yes, all my friends are in my head. Look at this. You fucking just climb and. Yeah, so that Moby song, Southside. I looked it up and then it was like. He said he kind of based it off the theater houses in Chicago. It's also about becoming desensitized to things. You shouldn't be desensitized to use like violence and all that. But I decided to look up the Chicago theater scene, see what he was talking about. And uh, one of the main, the, there's a movement guy, choreographer. I looked him up. And he's got his own special thing in one of his plays or whatever. It talks about, you know, like luminal spaces, not yet imagined, you know, like in the future, like where you have bodily freedom and something about you can put on and take off identities kind of thing. This is like bodily freedom, like, like fucking... Like, according to my own skill and agility, I can move around all this. This is very different from being elsewhere. Actually, it looks like a, this might, I mean, this might be like decent potential here for like some pull-up, pull-ups, bars or something. Pull-ups, chin-ups, that sort of thing. The angled. So yeah, I'm, partly what I'm doing is try to work out what can I do. It's kind of weird talking with this headset because I get. I'm not sure how these things record. This says recording through the headset, and like like I so I got the earplugs in, and there's like that weird audio feedback. Also, I was, when I was exploring some of the other, like, little offshoot rooms, I was realizing there's, like, multiple ways to get to a, a location, you know? They're more, they're more risky, but that's all the more better. Uh, a big part of, like, the different Hamza video, and I, I really like trying to address the fact that uh, humans are, are getting weaker. We're getting domesticated, especially men, like, men are getting weak, and they're not men anymore. And, uh, basically, like, castrated men. And that's from, like, social media, and pornography, and video games, movies, and TV, pop culture, weed. So to me, this is like, like it requires a certain amount of level of, oh, a certain level of, like basic fitness. And the more fitness you have, like the fucking better you can move around. So as far as like competition-wise, 
which I just like some of it. I was like a lot of what I was looking up. I actually, looked up multiple times. Was interspecies conflict and the other one, infraspecies, whatever. But so it's like between other species or inside of a species conflict amongst its own member conflict amongst its own members. Because, oh, there's that pool, the thing of water. I'm sure improvements could be made. I just don't, I don't quite know what to do. Just figure it out as you go. Plus, I gotta, like, be aware that I've gotta have lots of places. Like, this whole fucking city should be my, uh, Home range. There's definitely arguments to make to make that humans have become like sub animal. Like some people like they might eat chicken or something and be like, oh well it's becoming a part of a greater being. It's like really? I'm pretty sure that there could be arguments that could be made that uh it's it, it's it's not being it's being made a part of a lesser being this looks interesting and there might be like uh dangers like I seen this stupid thing it's like, oh, there might be lead, so we're gonna have to demolish stuff, like this, whatever, ever like poster, billboard thing, somewhere else, and oh, sweet, see, look, there's look, there's a way I get right there, like even realize that that's all like super dense. You gotta crawl through it and stuff. Which is good that I got my hat like situated. It's it's fucking modded up, so. When the trees grab my hat, it doesn't come flying off my head. I don't lose it. But this world is fucking doomed. Like the society, you've, the society humanity has built is, is a curse. It's a fucking plague. I'm gonna talk about fucking lead. Like we use lead in our gasoline for fucking decades. Like it's proven that the the IQ of humanity has has dropped substantially from lead poisoning from automobiles and using lead based gasoline. It's just fucking excuses for more control and to domesticate us. The fucking castrated, non non fucking worthy of life pieces of shit. Which. I'm pretty shitty myself. I'm trying to get better. It's probably why I made, made sure to like... Well, now I'm trying to make sure. I had to get through like a lot of fucking procrastination and all that. But so a lot of that's anxiety induced and... Yeah, I gotta go through all that fucking research though, again though. The mental health research so I could write it down and actually make concept maps. Look at that, fucking vines going up. Like, like, you imagine how, like, what if those are berry vines or something? How much food they'd be? But yeah, I'm, I'm overtired and hungry as fuck. I got a little bit of money because I worked yesterday, like got lucky and whatnot. So I could buy like a can of chili and mix it with the rest of the mac and cheese I got when I get back to the house that I need to get the fuck out of. But completely. Really, I wouldn't even get cool with anybody even salvaging all this stuff. Like, 
Someone's like, oh, we're going to take the metal and recycle it. Like, like, no. Just let it fucking, let it fucking fade back into the earth. You need to fucking turn it into stupid bullshit. Stupid fucking consumer bullshit. People to buy and sell. To modify. Fucking leave it here. And maybe someday after uh after nukes after the fucking the nukes do their job, fucking some blacksmith will fucking take that fucking thing of metal right there and fucking Turn it into something that you black like you pound with hammers with his own fucking hands. Not fucking get sent to a fucking Mercedes fucking Mercedes Benz fucking car factory to get turned into a piece of fucking sheet metal for a fucking car. For like elites to drive around or whatever. Because I mean pretty soon it's gonna be it's oh Besto's live, all that shit. No. Like 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 the great reset's coming. The fucking singularity with AI. These fucking pedantic fucking things people fucking care about. About, oh, it's not safe. We're just fucking poisoning everything. Like, we're poisoning everything. We're giving power to maniacs. To fucking rule our lives. We think we have a right to tell other people what they can and can't do in their life that, like, doesn't harm other people. We can use, like, we can use violence. We can hire fucking government-sanctioned thugs with a monopoly on violence to fucking enforce our will. Oh, that's cool. No, you can't go in there. You might slip and fall. Yeah, stupid lead things, stupid lead things said, oh, get your, you, you get your children checked for lead every six months. It's just like when I was calling with the veterinarian thing. It's like, oh, you need to get your dog checked every, like, or your fucking cat or whatever. Like, like they just, it's basically, it's basically like, like when I was in the, kind of like when I was in the military, like, it's, it's come, it's like come and report to us. But they're going to charge you money. They're going to steal your money. They're going to suck the money out of you. Put you on a whole bunch of whatever. It's better just not to even fear death. I think if you can. It actually reminds me that uh, some people live so wrong, but what we do is each his own, living in fear, endless shame for countless years. Uh, something like never lived in fear, knew I'd die another day. What is that? That is a freaky. I like to think my videos have... Uh, have like like elements where they're like fucking boring. What the fuck is he doing? What the fuck is he going with this? Look at the web design too. Oh, that was like a shortcut I was gonna go through. Not well, not a shortcut, but like just a different way around. And I seen uh, I seen a spider with a web, and I didn't want to disturb it, so I I didn't. Because I like respect life. I don't think humans are superior. That humans just fucking have a divine right. I think we're supposed to steward, like we're supposed to be stewards, but someone got it all fucked up and said that like we have dominion as in like our fucking property. And, and so we degraded them as life forms and now the elites are doing the same to us and we're fucking too stupid to even realize it. Like speciation is happening. Like the elites are, the, the elites are, are becoming a different species and we're becoming a different species. No, well, I'm becoming a different species and then we, you know, the rest, the herd, the herd is becoming a different species. I'm going the feral route. I wanna be a feral human. I don't want no ID, I don't want to pay no taxes, obey no laws. Ugh. 
try to avoid stuff like that. The snapping of wood. Because it's like, this is bad practice. Well, I mean, it's good practice as far as like, make a mistake, learn from it, or just adds to the experience of your learnedness. And that way, when it really counts, you're less likely to make that mistake. But I'm really far behind on my own path. I gotta learn what these what these plants are, how to use them. Like I'm so fucked up. I'm so I'm. I'm so below what a human should be as far as like, at a natural scale. But at the same time, I'm like, top of my class as far as generational wise. Like I should know what this is. It's a fucking, it's a fucking local plant. It's a, like, like I should know what local plants, like, this should be common fucking knowledge. Uh, just think about, like, education, school. Just, it's such a... Education in school is not education. It's indoctrination. I don't know, like... Sometimes I like like to stop and talk and just... Stop talking and just like think and reflect. But I also want to keep it going. Uh, Maybe I'll think of something else to say or... Fill in the dead space. I should check what time it is. Uh, well, I haven't gotten a call yet, so it probably won't be working, or I won't be working until later. I'm, I probably should have got a call by now if I was. So I'm only like, I'm not that far. I came, I came out here uh, sort of half prepared because it was just getting dark, and I wanted to. I wanted to do this last night and show like how beautiful all this is. Like, like fuck. Like, imagine what that would be like in fifty years, a hundred years. As long as humans don't come along and fuck it up, don't fucking desecrate it, so they could have more fucking. Fucking space for bullshit and fucking jobs and what slave wage uh, wage slavery. Like imagine, imagine justifying the fucking gentrification of your city to bring in jobs, which is just it's like it's like thinking. Thinking your slave master, like it's like subsistence living, but serfdom, especially with inflation and whatnot. Like this is bringing, let's like, say, a new factory. People are like, oh, I could go work at the factory. So, but what the fuck are you excited for? Like, like you, like, you desperate. Like you're in such a state that you're, you're, like, it's like desperation, like, like I get it, like, like, I'm broke as fuck, like, if I get a day or two of work, but my working is loose, it's not, it, it, it's not obligated, it's not, it's not, it's not like sucking up all my fucking time and energy and my thought, it's just kind of weird when I do go to work, it's, because I'm around people who like that's what they do for a living is they, is they make society go they keep the GDP running and I, I I I actually like think that the work I do is more respectable as far as it's more varied it's more hands on it's basically if the end of the world happens I'm going to have a lot of skills that I got from doing the job that I do so I can scrap metal and you know work with like I like work with the sawzall I learned how to get it running when it was all fucked up. 
and cutting like car frames up and stuff like that like that's useful you know uh getting them loaded up and knowing how to manage weight i was actually uh, i looked up uh, some stuff about um hapkido there was stuff i looked up before that but i'm just gonna go with hapkido which is a circle of movement so when i was throwing heavy rasp rotors up into the truck i was actually kind of more paying attention to the circular movements i could use but like if you're working at like mcdonald's or you're just on an assembly line and the end of the world happens like that's not it's not survival skill and it sucks like mcdonald's all oh, horrible to work at horrible it's, it's just like effectively torture when they got like the fucking beepers that go off and the sirens and all that sort of shit. I don't, know, I don't think people are really conscientious buyers for the sense that like, they're like, oh wow, that's really unethical. Like, wow, that's fucked up that they make you do that. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna support this business, this business model. People are more like, why is my food taking five minutes longer or something? Or they wonder why, like, like people who work there might be like kind of slacking or whatever, just kind of walking slow. Because a lot of times they're they're hectic and they're fucking frantic, but you know, if someone is walking slow, well, because they don't give a fuck about their job, why should they? It's bullshit. It's fucking. It's homogenizing our food into this, this homogenized substance. Like, like fast food is the future of fucking dog food for humans.